Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm with the technical team here at Parts Express. We would like to show you how to assemble the crossover on the new Aviatrix speakers. The speaker system has a couple different versions that you can build. One is a mass-loaded transmission line, one is just a center channel speaker, or uh, it can also be used as front or surround speakers for a home theater system. There are slight changes in the crossover based upon how you're going to use the speaker system, so certainly read your instructions all the way through before you start building to decide what cabinet you're going to build or how you're going to use your speakers. And then that, of course, will dictate what parts you put on or leave out of your crossover and in at least one place what your choice of parts is going to be for the proper performance. The, uh, about the only thing that you need is a hot melt glue gun, a soldering iron, and a wire stripper is about all you need um, to assemble the crossover. I assembled the uh, crossover on a piece of 3 16 pine board. You can use about anything that's non-conductive uh, to lay the crossover out on the, on the PC board. Uh, this side is the low pass for the woofers. Um, of course, big parts, the big speaker very simple and the smaller parts on this side is the high pass for the tweeter and this is the inputs that come from your amplifier so this is the ground and which is of course I made the wire black and this is the input side or the hot side the positive side coming from the amplifier so again this, these are your inputs the output side shares the common ground, which is why it's often referred to as common. So this would be the ground and the uh, what we call the hot or the output side for the woofers. And you can run uh, this to the positive side of each woofer or just run from this wire to the positive of the first woofer onto the second woofer. This is entirely up to you. So between the, the common and the output side over here, this is your low pass for your woofers. Over here, this is the positive or the output side for the high pass for the tweeter. And it shares the ground, so the tweeter would be wired coming off these two. And the, the layout here is pretty basic. It is very close to matching the schematic that comes with the kit. Um, the, as you follow the signal from input, it goes through the two caps. The signal goes through the coil out to the speaker and then we have these capacitors here between the output line and ground that cap increases the rate of roll off um, of the crossover the topology is the same on this side of the crossover we have a uh, what's called a baffle step compensation network and the signal goes through that to uh, reduce the signal the capacitor acts as a high pass it rolls, rolls off low frequency and then the signal goes out to the tweeter on this filter, since it's a high pass, the coil is in parallel with the speaker and it increases the rate of roll off of the filter or the rate at which we are losing unwanted low frequencies from the high pass output. So I started out by laying the ground side of the signal wire right in the center of the board. What I did was to anchor all these parts to the board using hot melt glue. So um, you dress the wire, of course, before you glue it down makes it generally easier. So um, what I, you'll do is just strip off some of the end of the wire. Um, I stripped away a little bit of the insulation to make a connection right here. This piece of insulation doesn't need to be here. Um, none of this is highly critical. So, but I, I just move away a little bit of the insulation just to make a uh, a stripped place in the wire so I can lay it in there so it's no big deal so so we'll just I'm just going to lay this wire across the board and I'm just going to tack it down with hot melt glue um, if you don't have a hot melt glue gun you might think about getting one they're not expensive uh, 10 15 bucks at a hardware store they work really well and if the day did come that you ever wanted uh, to, had to do a repair to your project, replace a part, um, 
the parts can be removed with a heat gun or a, 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 even a hair dryer. Any way that you can heat the glue, it'll soften and you can get the parts back off, um, hopefully without tearing them up. The, um, the first parts I'm going to add is a, what amounts to a high pass filter uh, to control the bottom end response of the woofers. And this is not required if you're doing the mass loaded transmission line. This is only for the center channel or the, sm for the, or the small sealed uh, version of the aviatrix. But to put these guys in, in the circuit, these two capacitors are wired together in parallel, which means what we did is we took the two, the two capacitors. Now, again, if you're doing the uh, MLTL version of the speaker system, you won't add this circuit to your crossover. So what I'm going to do is straighten these leads out, and this will be placing them in parallel. If we look at the board, um, I've got the input over here. Output is also on this side, so I'm going to bring the leads over to one side on both caps, and I'm just going to wrap them around there for now. I'm not going to solder until I got everything laid out and see that I got enough lead for everything. So we'll just fold that one down, wrap it around real good. And this guy is going to go right here on the edge of the board, just as shows on the other one. So we'll just tack it down with hot melt glue right there. And you can also put a, a drop on the top just to help support them, keep them together. You know, always bear in mind, speakers live in a world of vibration, so we, we don't need to um, over glue them, but make sure they're good and solid so that down the road they don't vibrate, come off, break uh, connections and solder joints and all of that. Click the link in the description for the next part of Eric's assembly.